This is lesson five of unlocking door families. So in this lesson, we're going to make our last door panel type. We've made a door flush panel, and we've made a door uh, vision panel. Now we're going to make a uh, full light one. So let's go to open. And just like we did before, we can copy that previous uh, D2 version to make our D3 version. Or let's just go ahead and hit 05 begin, and we can get started. So let's go to the front view real quick. And what we want to do here is we basically want this glass to encompass the whole door and have it kind of set equally in there. So it's kind of nice. We already actually have the geometry made. We just need to correct the parameters so they function the way we want. So I'm going to click the vision width and delete that. And then I'm going to click this vision height and delete that. And I can actually click on this reference plane and drag it. And I can see it's starting to do what I want because um, we've set it up to, to lock to the geometry. I just need to create parameters that assign uh, the rail widths or the, the overall height widths. So let's go to the family and types. And quickly, all we need to do is we can delete out these uh, vision heights. We can remove it and remove the vision width. And let's add in, maybe we do a rail bottom. Let's move it down to the bottom. Let's do a rail sides. So these parameters are actually going to dictate the uh, the widths of the actual door outside the glass. And let's do a rail top as well. Move it down. And let's set some dimensions to it right away. And we'll hit OK. And now, just like we did before, let's use our dimension tool, DD. And we can click on those reference planes one at a time, nice and simply. And let's use this left door and let's click outside here and do the same thing here. We'll get rid of this one because we don't need it anymore. And then let's assign those parameters. We'll click on each one of those and we can assign the label to it here. This would be for the rail sides. This would be for the rail top. And it's giving me an error, which you should note, because I've already over-constrained it. I have this 8-inch dimension up here, and it's saying if I add a constraint to it, I'm going to get an error. So be cognizant of that. Over-constraining is not uh, allowed. A lot of Revit software is very intelligent uh, in that respect. Let's try it again. We'll click on rail top, and that works now. And then let's do rail bottom. Great. So I have all those now, and now this looks like a full light door, which is good. Let's go ahead and maybe flex it a little bit. Let's move this back over, go back to the uh, family types dialog. And if I do the rail top, maybe we want it at six inches, and I hit apply, and that's good. Maybe the, the rails on the sides are only four inches. That'll work. Let's move that back, and maybe the bottom rail is a little bit bigger. That works. So it's all flexing. Let's change the uh, width and see if that updates and it does and the height does as well so everything's working great and nice and smooth which is great let's hit ok and let's do a save as file save as and let's save it as that d3 full light door let's hit save so at this point we've made three door panels we've made the flush one the vision one, and now we've just finished with this full light. So what we're going to do in the next lesson is take these three door types, these three door vision panels, these vision and full light and flush, and put it into that overall door family that we want to make. So this is where we start the process of creating that overall door. And we're going to create a way to fluctuate between all three of these door panels depending on...